Hello, this is Austin Henry 2, Foxtrot Tango Golf, and today we are making some measurements of these crappy RTL SDR stock antennas. I only have this type, which came with either blue or black stick of these fat types, because this is the only one I use, pers type I personally use. I have a Packard Bell PC as the ground plane here, which is the usual uh, most people use or something like that. It's a reasonably sized ground plane. In this, this is a 3 GHz VNA. I have put both a VSVR and a return loss measurements in here. This is the VSVR. Which, and I have looked, uh, hooked up a Schooner dummy load which has a, which is a bit crappy. Here, and uh, here's the return loss of it and it's quite decent, especially at the low end. So without further ado, let's put one of these antennas to the test. And the return loss is a bit bad. So we have a minus at the low end at like 300 kilohertz, it's un unsurprisingly it does not radiate at all and it's not that matched but we have the first resonance with a dip of minus 22 decibels at 509, 540 megahertz and it's smacked up in, in the middle of the UHF DVB-T band so it's actually it should work somewhat where it's supposed to and the VSVR there is a uh, glorious 1.1 and it get on broadcast FM it's a bit less it's actually significantly less it's 10 on broadcast FM on uh, CB it's 24 uh, sorry 40 so it's absolutely useless there but considering that it's of this length, it's no surprise, and as you can see, the VSVR does not really change that much, regardless if it's mounted on the ground plane or not. And that might tell something about how well it couples to the ground plane. But yeah, it looks better high up because the cable is so lossy. On the return loss side of things, we can see that it's never really like exceptionally good. And the best is where it's resonant, and then we have the third when it's three times the frequency and seven times the frequency, and so on. But it's pretty crappy. So, are the others any better? Well, no. They're all more or less similar. There's the second one. You see the connector. Connector is a bit bad, and it's the only adapter I found. This is resonant a bit lower, but still quite in the DVB-T band. This one is resonant on 504 megahertz, and has a bit better dips. It looks a bit better than the one before, but it's so it's surprisingly well matched on L band, and so on to 2.4 gigs. But then the cable is like no name Chinese coax and as you can see the connection is a bit bad. Unsurprisingly the VSPR works really good because it's so lossy. And we can see the first resonance here at the around 500 megahertz and the third L band one here. But yeah it's very lossy so it's a resistive match. So let's put on the second one. Sorry. Yeah. So this is a bit. This is also again. This is on 400 and 540 and so on. It's DVB-T band. Same on the return loss side of things. Yeah, it's a bit crappy. So. Fourth one. Yeah, this does not 
it didn't go full way in, so it might be one of the reasons why it's as this time buff response is because it does not plug fully in because it's a bit wreck, it's not extending enough. So that might be one of the reasons why it looks the response looks a bit funny. And once again, five on, around 500 and a half megs, uh, 500. And the VSVR is not that. It's yay, 1.2 as we are on. 531 megs and VSVR of 1.5 on 449. Yay! And the fifth and last, which does extend further than the one that before it. If you compare, yes, two types. And it has a bit better response, but not like hugely. And it's resonant on almost 600 megahertz, 585. Yay! The VSVR is also a glorious 1.1 1 .1 there, on 588 megahertz. So all of these are really quite crap, and or anything else than DVB-T and even then the coax used here is really lossy and you can see that it doesn't really change that, that much if it's connected to a ground player or not now it's on a ground plane now it's not, it's just slightly worse so next we are going to take a look inside of all of these and see how it's is there, is there actually any connection to the ground plane except the capacity or it's just is it even connected to the steel slug here? We'll see. Anyway, this was Osan Henry 2, Boxer Tango Golf.